Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday. It means we're using another Telenite deck. So we are using Babylon Leafs uh, Satellite deck. So I, I really couldn't think of a name to really call it because it was just kind of a. I guess I could call it Field Commander Babylon. <laughs> I mean, it's not Field Commander Telenites because it had a Field Commander who I didn't even remember that he was actually a card, but you can actually search. But uh, yeah, that's what we are using today. Ah, well, the sand's not too terrible. Yeah, I can actually go for my boss monster right now. The only problem is I'm um, pretty much guessing that it, that that face down right there is a uh, is a war chariot. Oh uh, yes, war chariot, right? Go ahead and play it. War chariot. Oh, holy shit! It was war chariot. How the fuck did I know? <laughs> ah, war chariot. Swear to God. It's one of the key reasons why I hate glads because <laughs> fucking war chariot. <sighs> anyway, uh, let me go ahead and start telling you guys about my uh, my Monday, because you guys probably want to know how that is. I'm deeper than one of you fuckers. It uh, doesn't matter. I mean, I'll be taking less damage, uh, but the problem... The thing is that he's gonna tag anyway. The thing I don't want him to attack with Ritari, know that I have a response, and then don't attack with the Lakari. So fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna deprison them. Might as well deprison them, right? Oh my god! Fucking war chariot. Well, this is fun. Every time I activate a goddamn effect, I'm gonna get fucking war chariot every single time. Like this is gonna. I hate glad. I hate glad so much. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I hate them. Hate. Hate. <laughs> you don't understand how much I hate. Them. Bottomless? Are you literally gonna beat the shit out of me because I'm not gonna- No! I'm not gonna activate this fucking effect. Hello? Why the fuck would I activate this effect? What? No. No. Just- No. Don't activate any effects. Just attack. Don't. Don't. Activate any effects, don't play any cards, don't pass go, do not collect 200, just no. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? Just summon a Glad Beast monster? Unless you have something that can get over our team, but I don't think you, you can. I don't think Glads have anything stronger than 18 without Lakari tagging out, so. Unu Kahai. Unu. Unu. Kahai. Kahai? A nuclear high? I don't know. Seems pretty good right now. Like you fucking fuck. You actually you think that I won't fucking kamikaze with you? You think I won't? I will. I'm fucking crazy. Actually, you know what? <sighs> no. Think about me. Uh, I'll allow you to fucking do it, but now I'm kind of I'm, now I'm kind of hesitant. No. Yes. Now go for Deltaros. One, two, three. You got that warning? Yes, you fucking do! Oh my god! Really? Fucking. Mm! I hate glads! <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? Of course you have the warning! The one card that can stop my place! One! Nah! One! One! One card! Just one! Any one card to stop my fucking place, of course, you fucking have it, hate glads! <sighs> That's all that fucking deck is, just back row! Ugh. Of course you have the warning. Of course you had it. Of course. Couldn't have been. Any other fucking card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! No, it had to be warning. 
Now I'm gonna lose. Now I'm gonna literally. I'm now I lost because I can't activate anything. If I even summon fucking Altair and try to do anything, everybody has it. Of course you have it. One out of forty. Up oh, right here. I got it. Of course you do. I hate number generators. Now I fucking lose. <laughs> I'm gonna have to summon Altair and fucking do nothing. Oh, bottomless, thank you. I wish I had that fucking a turn ago. No, I'm not gonna activate his effect. Why the fuck would I activate his effect? So I can get War Chariot? No, thank you. Mirror Force, of course! Of course! I'm done, I'm done, I quit. GG, I quit. I fucking kit, quit. I fucking hate Glads. I still hate them. I still fucking hate them. I will forever hate that deck. I hope you never, ever, ever Get fucking, uh, Bastari back. Fuck you. Fuck you, Glads. I hate you. I hate you so much. Never get fucking Bastari. Ever. Get another duel one. Bear back. Let's try this again. Fucking hate Glads. <laughs> uh, I thought, I thought maybe my fucking hate for them has, you know, disappeared over time. But no, it hasn't. I hate that deck. Still hate it. Still hate it. Still hate it. That's good to know. That's good to fucking know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think I can get a Nukula Hall, and Nukula Hall can drop me fucking Deneb, so I don't need to search for the Deneb. Oh, but Deneb can get me that search. Deneb can search me for Vega, and Vega will allow me to do my, my uh, play, so. I'm not sh still not sure how I feel about Vega, but still, that was just ugh. Like, hello? All the answers. You saw that? that that's literally how it is when you duel against Glads all the time. Just disgustingness. Just make you want to throw up in your mouth, fucking Glads. All they are is back. <laughs> oh, Alright, let me tell you about my Monday, because my Monday was uh, interesting, to say the least. Interesting to say the least. Gishkis. Hello? No, I have no response for that. Gishki. Gishki. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Gishki. Abyss? Gishki Abyss? Gishki Abyss. No. Fucking get to her ride. Gishki Abyss. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have nothing to stop that. Two, three, four, five. What are you getting? Yep, preparation of rights. Alright. Oh. Okay, I can turn you into what? I wish, like I said, I wish it was sent to the graveyard, not fucking shuffle. I hate that it's shuffle. Ugh. Ah, uh, hate that it's shuffle. I hate that it's shuffle. Right, I can't special summon because he used this. Yep, well, I lose. I fucking lose, I can't special summon. <sighs> fucking. Bear back. I cannot get any decent duels in today. Not at all. Every time I try to get some plays off and actually use this goddamn Telenite deck, I get fucking sacked to the highest degree. Give me Vega. Uh, my day, my day is just terrible today. It's completely and utterly terrible. <sighs> anyway, let me just go ahead and start talking about my Monday, because it's probably going to be a long one. Definitely one that you guys want to hear about, though. <sighs> now, what am I going against? Some synchro deck. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 
don't even care about him. Don't even care about Junk Warrior. Mm-hmm. Junk Warrior is not the card that I care about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I care, I care about that, because you're going to summon your damn thing. Level eat off. Yeah, you're going for first turn fucking Quasar. Oh, get the fuck out of my face with that first turn fucking Quasar. Like, hello? No. That was going to be first turn Quasar right there. No. Because you're going to summon fucking that, level eat off, make the formula, that, 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 Quasar. So, no. No. No Quasar. No, no... Mr. Mr. Quasar, no home. I need to start telling you guys about my Monday, but I'm just getting so distracted by just ugh right now. Anyway, uh, thank thank you, Compulse. I love you, Compulse. I love you. Clearly, I love that card. If you guys didn't know, I love Compulse. All right, Delta. Boop, boop, boop. Deltaros! Pop. 25. So, as you guys know, on Mondays I have uh, my education class and I have women's literature, aka the girls that I'm talking to, well, used to talk to, uh, are Amish Girl and Movie Girl. So, uh, as you guys know, Amish Girl was not in class last class and, uh, she was actually in class this time, so it was nice to see her. You know, she wasn't even wearing damn medical mask, so that was nice. You know, it's her wearing that medical mask, it's like, hello, like, like it's like that's not attractive at all. <laughs> For some odd reason, I just kept on finding that girl less and less attractive the more that I got to know her. That's fine. Come at me, bro. Don't care. So get my effect. That's all I care about. Yep. Mmm. I summoned the Vega from my deck. And then Vega will summon Altair. And then Altair will summon Deneb. And then the Neb will search me for Altair. <laughs> like, hello? I'm still good. I'll just make another one next turn. Like, I don't care. Yes, that's a back row or what? You're just gonna get another one next turn. Another Rota. Alright, double Rota. Sure. Desynchro. Okay. Okay. You're just burning up the resources while me, on the other hand, I don't give a fuck. Black Rose. Cute. Sure. I don't even care about that. Alright. Some you, because I'm still up on resources. A decent girl is cute. You play so far cute. I like how you're getting every single card that you freaking ask for in this game that we call Yu Gi Oh! But yeah, I shall summon you. I should totally fine with this play right here. I'm actually liking the warrior returning live. I might actually consider that in my uh, Constellar Knight deck. Ah, we'll make like an Emerald, of course, so we can shove things back. All right, who wants to go back? You, 
You. And you. Go ahead. Mr. I'm so down on resources. Hope you top deck soul charge. Cause if you didn't, I win. This game, I win. Okay, I, I, I really need to get started talking because I only gotta finish talking, but I also gotta do deck profile. So no more duels, talk. Focus, Daniel, talk. So, uh, Education class was the usual, boring. I, I I don't like that class. It's literally just filled with the same. We literally talk about the same thing over and over and over again. Like, are you sure you want to be a teacher? You're not gonna make much money. It's all about teaching the kids. It's all about the kids. Blah 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 blah. Over and over and over. Case studies, watching stupid videos, talking. Same thing over and over and over and over and over. Every single class, it gets boring. It gets boring. Anyway, uh, I'm a scroll. Uh, sub the class, and like I said. The more I'm around her, the more unattractive I find her. And I'm just kind of like, meh, when I come to her. Yeah. Like, would I make her my girlfriend? I guess. But I'm just not really that attracted to her. Compared to the other girls that I was talking to. So, you know, she did the usual, chilled with me. So, uh, she walked me to the general area of my class. She talked to me about how she gives people nicknames, and she, apparently she gave me this nickname. I'm not going to tell you the nickname, because you'll make fun of me, and you'll call me that nickname, and I want you guys to call me that nickname, so I'm not going to tell you what the nickname is. But something stupid. I'm just like, okay. I, I humored her. I'm like, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I just don't care. So, uh, you know, after that, she goes off to her class, and, uh, oh, well, actually, uh, I was walking down the hall with her, talking to her, and uh, Bulgarian girl, of course you know Bulgarian girl, she has a boyfriend, so I don't care, but she, I think she walks out of the bathroom, and she runs into us, and she was like, and she like, sees us, and uh, Amish girl looks at me, because she was like, oh, hi, Daniel, and I'm like, hi, and, you know, Amish girl looks at me, and I'm like, just a friend, don't even worry, I'm like, what, are you jealous? Like, no, 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 I'm not jealous, like, okay, so, Bulgarian girl goes over and sits on the couch where she usually sits, and uh, I chill with Amish girl until it's time to leave, so I walk over to Bulgarian girl, she's like, oh, what is that, your girlfriend? Like, no, not my girlfriend, just a friend. So, uh, Bulgarian girl's talking to this other girl in the class, I don't even know her, but I know her because she sits next to near me and we talk, but I don't know her, know her. But uh, those two are talking while I'm just chilling, looking at my phone, you know, checking if there's any new uploads, my messages, etc., etc. Uh, then Movie Girl comes over. So Movie Girl walks over, and uh, Bulgarian Girl's like, Oh, oh, yeah, there's this girl. That, that, that was Daniel's girlfriend. And Movie Girl's like, Oh, that's your girlfriend? It's like, No. Like, hello, fucking Bulgarian Girl. Hello? Why would you, why would you even tell, why? Why would you even start rumors like that? No, it's not my fucking girlfriend, you stupid bitch. <sighs> you know, especially in front of another girl, you know. That I, 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 that I liked, you know, it's like, hello? Like, why? <sighs> fucking stupid bitch. So, you know, they're fucking starting rumors, and there's no rumors to fucking start, but, you know, moral of the story of bitches be crazy. Anyway, uh, class starts, and, uh, I'm looking over at, uh, Movie Girl, and she, like, picks up her bag and, like, runs out the room. I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? So I go out in the room, and I'm like, are you okay? She's like, oh, no, I just had a phone call. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, okay, fine. So I, I had to go use the bathroom anyway. So I walked over and used the bathroom, came back, class started. Class, we're watching this movie. It's called Salt. Pretty interesting movie. You have to write an essay about it, but that's pretty chill. So uh, class ends, and of course, uh, I usually go ahead and talk to the movie girl after class. So I decide to bowl up. You know, because I need to stop fucking, I need to stop fucking around, of course. And, of course, I gave her my number, but she never calls or texts me, which is cause it should have been a fucking signal for my fucking dumb ass. I, I didn't want to take no for an answer, or she needed to tell me no, so, you know this is probably leading to. So, anyway, I'm, I go up to her, and we were talking, I'm just like, you know what, give me your number. And she's like, why? Like, because you're not called or texting me, so maybe I have to initiate the conversation. And, so, it takes a fucking left turn. And pretty much she was like, yeah, you're stalking me, 
Get out of my face. I want nothing to do with you. I'm not into you like that. We're not even friends. You know? And I'm like, okay, where did this fucking come from? Like, I'm stalking you? I'm smothering you? Like, I only see you two times a day. I don't even see you for fucking ten minutes. How am I smothering you? Hello? I swear to God, bitches be crazy. So, she thinks I'm fucking smothering her when I'm not. Anyway, uh, she didn't even think of me as a friend. You know, all this thing, you know, getting to know each other, talking and stuff. No, no, just acquaintances, not even friends. Okay, sure. What the fuck ever. So, I'm done with her. I'm done. Like, I gave you my number. Why the fuck would you take my number if you weren't going to do anything with it? Oh, I was just trying to be nice. Fuck being nice. All right, you're clearly not nice right now. Apparently, we weren't even fucking friends. Friends exchange numbers. We weren't even friends. We we're fucking acquaintances. You shouldn't even touch my number. You should have said no, thank you. But bitches be crazy, cause bitches, I swear to God, women work on emotion. They don't work on logic like men. Like, seriously, and, uh, all these girls that I know that are my friends, they're like, uh, oh, men are so hard to understand. No, we're not. We're fucking dogs. We're simple as fuck. It's black and white. You're not interested? Tell me. I'll leave you alone. I don't want to be your friend. I don't need any more friends. I have friends. I'm looking for a girlfriend. You're clearly not interested, so tell me. So I don't have to waste my fucking time so we don't have to make this shit awkward. Fucking, I swear to God. It's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. So yeah, I'm done with Movie Girl. I'm done. I, I'm not even friends. I don't even want to associate with her. Because clearly she doesn't want to associate with me. So I'm done with her. I am done with her. So you won't be hearing any more stories about Movie Girl. And it's good that the, this title is, the, you know, uh, 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 Babylon, Babylon's, you know, death. That's good. That's funny, because I didn't even get freed, but interesting. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking the way of returning alive. It makes me feel comfortable with my place, you know? It makes me feel like a reassurance that I can go ahead and be like, oh, I'm at a place. Go ahead and get something back. So I'm, I'm starting to like that, so I'll work on it. Like I said, still waiting on the ban list. By the time that this video goes out, the ban list should be here. So we can, I can go ahead and plan accordingly, but uh, so far I'm liking it. I'm liking the way of returning life. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the deck profile, but don't worry about it. Don't fucking worry about it. So, like I said, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find logistics to it. I'm trying to find patterns to it, but there is no pattern for me. So, uh, as you guys know, I also gave my number to uh, now approachable girl. She did not call or text me, so I guess I'm to assume that she's not interested and she only took my number because she's trying to be nice. So uh, tomorrow. You know, Tuesday, which of course you'll hear about it on Wednesday, because, you know, we record a day ahead, but, uh, uh, I'm not gonna make any moves. I'm not gonna make any moves, I'm just gonna chill. If she, if she's interested, she'll come up and talk to me. If she's not, then she won't, so, the, I'm, I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna test the water and try to find patterns of logic in something that literally has no pattern of logic. So, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna approach her, I'm not gonna talk to her. If she's interested in me, she'll come to me, you know, but... It's kind of, it seems like she's not interested because I gave her a number, she didn't call or text, and yeah, it seems like if a woman was interested in me, she would call or text. So at this point, um, I'm out of weeds. Uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm, after this, I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired of trying to flirt with girls. I'm trying, trying to get a girlfriend. I'm done. I'm tired of it. What's the point? What's the fucking point? I'm so done. You know? I'm tired of fucking sticking my neck out there to get my head chopped off like a goddamn turkey. What's the point? What's the fucking point? I'm done. I'll just work on me, you know? I don't need to be happy. I don't need a girlfriend. I don't need to be happy, you know? As long as you guys are here to watch my videos, and you guys are enjoying my content, and you guys are happy, then I guess I'm happy, you know? I make other people happy, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Not happy at all, you know? I feel, I feel empty. I feel really empty. That's all I feel. Empty. I always felt empty, though. Oh well. Probably be like a fucking 40 year old virgin. Like that movie. Because I cannot get a girl to save my damn life. Oh well. <laughs> ah, that's funny, huh? Alright, let me go ahead and do this deck profile in this video. So, be right back. Alright, let me do this deck profile. So, uh, this is uh, Babylon Leafs. What is it? Moo? 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 Babylon Leafs? This is uh, deck profile. So, he runs uh, the. Butter Spy, yeah, three Butter Spy, which is cool, totally cool. Uh, you know, it kind of felt like if you're gonna run like the Butter Spy, you can run like a little bit of Kage and throw like BLS or something in there, make it like a Chaos variant, but this is cool, you know. 
totally cool. It gives me that additional summon out of my nine. Uh, Field Commander. I never got to use him, but you know, he's pretty interesting. So when this card is normal summon or special summon, I can choose a level four or lower warrior type monster and put it on top of my deck. So pretty much so I can draw right into it. So it's kind of like Rhoda, except it's not. So uh, pretty decent. The only problem is, is that just like Laval will chain, my opponent will know what I'm drawing and it might be dangerous depending on my hand. So uh, not a bad play though. Of course, three Altair, three to Neb, uh, two Unu... Unu Kalahai, I think that's how you say it, Unu Kalahai, uh, uh, two of them, so I can go ahead and just send it to the, send my, uh, the Neb to the graveyard and get my plays off, so don't mind that. Uh, three Zega, uh, Zega put in that work, this duel, he did, she did, I don't know, but Zega put in that work, uh, and that's the monsters, only, uh, 16 monsters, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. yeah, no, yeah, 16 monsters, that's fine. Uh, I did, you know, I was getting more monsters than anything, and deck didn't seem like it was clogging, so that was fine. Uh, two Rota, of course, two Rota. Uh, three Upstart. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Upstart, but I, it's a nice play filler, I guess. I'd probably run more back row instead of the Upstarts, but sure. Uh, the Foolish, so uh, two of him and one Foolish, sure. Uh, two Warrior Turn Life. Like I said, I'm liking this. I like that the reinsurance that I can just go ahead and grab back with uh, Warrior Returning Alive and continue my play, so I'm starting to like this, and I find this interesting. So I might consider running this in my Constella in my deck. Uh, only two MSTs, I like three MSTs, so I'd probably run three. Um, I don't like this card. <laughs> like I said, if it sent it to the graveyard, like I said, when I got it, I, was, eh, I couldn't special summon anyway, but when I got it, I was kind of hesitant to play, even if I could special summon, because why would I want to shuffle my Deneb back to the, to the deck? I, wanna, I want to send it to the graveyard, of course, so I'm not a big fan of this card. I stated before in the card review and now. Uh, two lands, okay. Uh, trap cards, bottomless, sure. Deep prison at two, okay. That's fine. Uh, one pulse, it's really helpful. Uh, two Phoenix Chain, okay. Three called Haunted, okay. And warning, okay. Uh, extra back. Four bows, okay. Two Deltaros, mm hmm. One Omega, uh huh. Uh, Black Ship, 101. Uh, Excalibur, who I probably never would summon ever. I just don't see the point of him. Paladino. Like, there's, the thing is, there's no Castell. Like, Castell, 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 you know. Like, a lot of these cards could just be Castell. So, Castell's not in here, so. I think, I think when I put the video up, I think it was before Castell came out, so. He probably would make a change to it, but yeah. I probably would never make this. This could should be Castell or 101, because, you know, if I do the whole him to him play, I can't attack anyway. So I can reduce your attack to zero and negate your effect, but then I can't attack you, you just turn in defense mode. So, yeah, fast out. Uh, next to Tom Sher, Lowell Chain, yes. Uh, Emerald, yes. Cowboy, yes. Uh, you put 84. So when I was making the deck and I put 84, nothing came up. I'm like, what the heck? So I had to type in, World oh, Champion, there was 86. I'm like, oh, typo. Anyway, okay, I guess. I'm not a big fan of him, but sure. Uh, Rhapsody's good, and, uh, Tsukiyomi, because no, I don't like the idea of Tsukiyomi, but sure, I guess. Alright, so. There you go. So, like I said, my deck, my day is shitty, but it's cool. Like I said, as long as I can bring entertainment to you guys and you guys are happy, that's fine with me. So, if everybody around me is happy, but I'm, I'm unhappy, but don't worry about me. Done. So, like I said, I'm terrible with women. I don't understand women at all. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and test orders. I'm not going to talk to approach of a girl. If she approaches me, then sure. But if she doesn't, then she's clearly not interested. And I'm done. I quit. I quit. I'm done. I'm tired of chasing. I keep on saying that I'm tired of chasing girls when I chase girls. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But I I don't know. I guess I just can't take no for a goddamn answer because I'm a fucking idiot. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or you guys want to say anything, go ahead. By the time you see this video, I would have already figured out what I want to figure out with Approachable Girl, so you'll get your answer to that on Wednesday, but you guys have any suggestions or anything? No. Stanzi's happy with his damn girlfriend. I don't even want to talk to Stanzi. Oh, me and my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend, fuck you. I want a girlfriend, it's not fair. It's not fair. Oh well. Let me stop being salty. Stop being a hater. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow using Mermel's. Planning on taking that deck off soon, but I, right at this point, I just can't think of anything that I want to replace it with. So, I don't know. Eventually, we'll replace it, but I don't know. For right now, it, it's Mermel's. So, see you guys tomorrow with Mermel's, and you'll find out what happened with the Project Logo, whether she's interested or not, with this little test. 
you know. I'll even, I'll even do double. I'll show up to class early. If she comes and talks to me, then yeah. If she doesn't, then yeah. And after class, you know. Like I said, she sits in the back, I sit in the front, the door's in the back, so she could easily just leave out the door and walk off and not approach me or talk to me. She, I know she does not have a class after, so she, she literally has nothing better to do than to talk to me because she waits on her mom to come and pick her up. So it's either go off, she's not interested, be by herself, or come and approach me and talk to me. Yeah. So I guess I'll have to find out.